Welcome back to my channel, my peeps. This is nature's beauty. We are nature's speaking man. Up in the hills of the Dry Harbor Mountain, St. Anne, Jamaica, West Indies. This is your boy, Patrick, aka Long Luan. Um, today, I will be doing an episode on uh, turmeric turmeric and it is turmeric growing organically in my backyard garden and that is what we're going to be discussing today what is turmeric turmeric is otherwise known as a as golden spice and um, in, so, in some era it is called Indian saffron as well as uh, curcuma langa curcuma langa <laughs> now it is a native of the southeast asia and a member of the ginger family as many people may realize it is a major ingredient in curry powder and is widely used in cooking all over the world it is also especially used in india and china that's where they have used it a lot and so Today, we are going to look at some of the um, health benefits and um, how we can grow it here in the Caribbean or up in the hills of Jamaica organically. In medicine, turmeric is used widely. As you can know, as you know, it is also one of the superfood. It is widely considered as one of the superfood because it has some health benefits such as antimicrobial bacterial it is antimicrobial it is anti-inflammatory as well as it is antioxidant so as a result of that a lot of people turn to turmeric to use in their medicinal um, health benefit now turmeric as we know it here in jamaica is growing widely in some areas especially in um, hanover when I was down in Hanover, <clears throat> there was a lady who grew turmeric down there and it was, it was wild. I was preparing the land to do, to plant pepper and I had to destroy a lot of turmeric. Back in the days, I didn't even know what it was. All I know is that, um, it is, <laughs> it was taking up the place and so I had to chop and the more I chop, and throw away is the more I see turmeric. But then, that time, that time I was a young chap. So after a while now, I come to learn of the importance of turmeric. Especially when I had to travel to the States. That's when I realized how important turmeric was. When I saw a little package selling for $5. And I was like, man, this is the thing I throw away a lot. But then when I was a young boy and, you know, not knowing the importance of it. But today we come to realize it. Now in my little garden here, I grow, where I grow a little herb for myself. I have two roots that I have potted. But what I realize is that when you pot them, here, I, maybe I, I didn't pot it so well, but... When I, I use organic material here, as you can see, I use uh, leaf, rotten leaf and stuff. And yeah, I'm getting some nice bulge at the bottom. But um, and it, the plant is looking good among the herbs here, among my little herb garden. But I'm going to take it to further on down into the garden into the bigger garden where i planted some and i realized that it does very well here down in the garden here however i have a little ginger here that i planted and i uh, also have a little pumpkin clustering up the garden with chocho but um my main topic today is the turmeric. 
turmeric plant. This is indeed the plant that I'm talking about, turmeric. It is a beautiful plant. And right here, it grows very well. So even though I potted it, I realized that right here, it does very well. Because I always get some very nice um, bulbs from it. And so I decided to plant it here last summer and it's almost ready to reap right now. So I'm gonna be picking up a few of the bulbs. However, um, what I realize is that uh, what I realize is that right here where it grows uh, I use natural stuff such as plant skins um, all the different stuff that I use in the kitchen, I dump it here, the refuse. And I use it as just natural manure for the plants within this year. So, you can see a um, lot of banana peel, you know, harrying skins and all those stuff. Your skin, your seed, all those stuff. I just throw it here in order to grow it organically. No. Whenever I need to cook, this is where I come. And I just, I don't pull it up totally. I just scratch the root. I use my last and I just scratch the root. And see where I can find any that is ready. And just pop it off. For instance, this piece here. This seems to be a nice piece, chunk. So I just break it off. And... it here, here so that I can use to cook no this dirt is a bit tough but I don't know it's still like this good spot so I, I I still grow it right here I still let some time all right here's a nice piece okay all right, this piece seems to be a nice chunky piece I just break it. Let me dig some more. It seems to bear very well, so I'm not going to dig it too hard because I'm going to be chopping it up. We'll just gently dig it some more of it okay yes, I get I, since I don't need much I just take a small piece so it stays fresh because it's uh it's fit but it's not well fit as it so it can stay here and each time I need a little piece I just come and pluck it off and just scratch back the dirt over the root so it stays nice and cool and the younger parts can develop into more mature uh, now um yes i've got a little piece you know i think this should be able to cook my pot today and tomorrow <laughs> because I uh, this is sufficient to do what I need to do until I'm finished and I need again I come back instead I have to pluck it out of the earth and then let it stay uh, you know I, I get it fresh so I can have it to use now 
when I'm finished, I plow the spot right here and then I replant it back again. And so I'll have it to use another time. What I'm going to be doing though, I'm going to be making more pots and I'm going to get some more natural earth, natural and more um, organic soil. Make a compost and just build some pots. I can have some some potted ones. Now this is a root of ginger, as you can see. It's grown right into the banana root. And um, it even looks seems as if it has ginger ready too. So I may pluck a piece of this ginger. Use this chota leaf to put my stuff on. I may, and then pluck a piece of that ginger. Alright, so here's a piece of ginger sticking out of the earth. This is wild ginger. This just grow here while I didn't plant it. It grows wild. So I, I walk the garden whenever I see this wild organic stuff, no fertilizer in it. I always take advantage of it. I want to see like it's, it's gone deep deep into the root of the banana the last one in there okay now I don't want to, to dig into the ginger so I'm gonna try to see if I can put this stone and then Best I can get it all. This Jamaican ginger is very potent. We do enjoy the taste, the strength of these ginger, and even the foreign ones that come here. Oh, and this works is a solid root, you know. Oh, I'm gonna have to break it, it's stuck. Oh, nice tuber. Seems to be and this one. I need some ginger, so I might as well just take the, the road out. This is growing, growing stuff, herbs in your backyard, my people. You know, up in the dry harbor mountain here, it is very fertile soil, so everything grows here. Because the dirt is tough, as you can see, most of it is grown on the top of the soil. This, this soil right here is a bit tough, so I need to plow it. But since it's grown wild, you know, sometimes these have been here growing for a long time without we even realize. As this garden was planted by my father, who was very old now. He's Almost 90, almost 90 years of age. No, he reached 90, almost 91. And these are what? These are the things that he used over the years that keep him strong. I'll, I'll come back and dig this piece another day. Okay. All right, my people, as you can see, growing herbs in your backyard. It's it's very nice, good to grow plants in the backyard because you will always have access to it whenever you need. This is some seedlings I have here. Pepper seedlings. Grown in organic stuff. Leaves and rotten leaves and stuff. I just throw them in the pepper seed whenever I use it. Scotch money pepper. I just the seeds in here and they grow in the whole whole tube whole chuck tube so I let it stay here which is cool and the temperature is just right for it while um while um 
the state that it goes. So this is my garden. I always like to visit my garden. And um, enjoy my video. Please like and subscribe. And we, we will we will meet again. Thank you.